20 million US adults take it, but fish oil is entirely useless. And I'm gonna tell you why and what I take instead. But there's so much research showing that fish oil benefits acne, dry skin, dry eyes, inflammation, pain, triglycerides, heart disease. Those are the benefits of omega-3s and not fish oil. Let me explain the difference and how you can actually get these benefits. First of all, they don't use fish oil in these studies. They use concentrated omega-3 extracts that at one time came from fish oil. And even though those fish oil pills are quite large, they don't even come close to the doses found to be effective in research. For example, Costco fish oil pills contain about 300 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA, EPA being the more active component. And to put that into context, one study found decreased inflammatory acne lesions on 2,000 milligrams of omega-3s, or about eight Costco fish oil pills. And this dose was on the small side. Ramping up from that tiny little dose of only requiring eight Costco fish oil pills to get the benefits seen in research, we have studies on eczema, which use between 5,000 and 8,200 milligrams of omega-3s, or about 20 to 33 Costco fish oil pills every single day. Similarly, a study looking at dry skin in hemodialysis patients found omega-3s to be effective at an omega-3 dose equivalent to about 24 Costco fish oil pills per day, an unreasonable amount. And you may not know this, but there's a fish oil extract that's actually an FDA-approved pharmaceutical drug called Vasipa. It has an indication for lowering triglycerides or fats in the blood at a dose of 4,000 milligrams per day of purified EPA, which is again, the equivalent of 32 Costco fish oil pills to get the benefits that you would get from Vasipa on your triglyceride levels. Taking one measly gram of fish oil is kind of like taking 1 25th of an aspirin and expecting your headache to go away. And we're just scratching the surface because a study that found omega-3s to be effective in psoriasis used a dose equivalent of 72 Costco fish oil pills. No one could do it. And after all, fatty acids like omega-3s are macronutrient foods, not vitamins. You need them in large amounts. Imagine just filling a capsule with rice and expecting that to be a satisfying meal. Luckily, there are plenty of concentrated omega-3 products in the market, and personally, to get the most benefit, primarily clear and moisturized skin, I decided on 3,000 milligrams of EPA per day. I also created this cost analysis spreadsheet to see which product would be the best value in terms of cost per day, and would also require me to take the fewest number of pills in order to get an effective dose of omega-3s. I decided on taking six soft gels per day of now brand Ultra Omega-3 fish oil. And I take three in the morning and three in the evening with food to improve absorption. If I wanted to take the absolute minimum number of pills possible to get 3,000 milligrams of EPA per day, then I would take Carlson Elite EPA gems, which would only require three pills to get that dose. However, it costs twice as much per day to be on the EPA gems as the product that I'm on, and also the EPA gems only contain EPA. That's why you're able to take fewer pills to get the same EPA dose. And while EPA is generally considered to be the more active omega-3, there have been studies that show some benefit of including DHA with EPA. And if I were to insist on the triglyceride form of omega-3s versus the ethyl ester form, then I would take five pills per day of physician's recommended network DE3. In fact, that's the one that I used to take before doing this cost analysis and switching products. Uh, but at four times the cost per day, it just wasn't worth it to me anymore. And if you don't know what this means, the difference between the triglyceride form and the ethyl ester form of omega-3s, then subscribe for a video later on comparing the two. I'm Aviva Carter, MD-PhD candidate. Subscribe if you have a body and you want to know how to use it well.